Rabi has accepted himself as one of Nigeria's most important politicians. I know you want to say that every politician is important in this country because they are holding public offices. Holding public offices does not make you an important politician. Holding public offices does not mean that the people love you. There are many people in public offices today that are receiving daily courses from their people. That is because they are not very important to them. The reason for power is to affect the life of the people. The reason why political office is being sought after by people is to change life, is to bring even development to the country, region or state where they are. But unfortunately, that is very evasive in our political landscape. Most Nigerian politicians, they seek political offices in order to amass wealth for themselves. That is why the moment they all leave office, they become irrelevant. But that is not so with Mr. Pitobi. Mr. Pitobi has been consistent. This is someone that left office over 14 years ago, but he is still very relevant to date. We saw what happened in the 2023 presidential election. Mr. Peter Robi, who contested under the PDP as a vice president to Atiku Abubakar in 2019, left the PDP, joined the Labour Party, a relatively unknown political party, built that party in six months, took that party to a national level, contested the presidential election, and INEC said he had 6 million votes. We all know that Mr. P2B secured not more than 10 million votes in that election. We all know that Mr. P2B is the rightful winner of that election. But let's all assume that Mr. P2B got 6 million votes. That was a feat that no politician in this country could achieve. Not even Atiku Abubakar, not even Bola Metinibu. Atiku Abubakar had previously contested an election as a president under ACN, a party owned by Bola Metinibu. How many million votes did he get? He didn't get up to 2 million votes. One person that was parading himself as a national leader could not even get up to 2 million votes. Majority of the votes he secured in the last election came from Kanu State, a state where he served as a two-term governor. Atiku Abubakar contested under a known political party, PDP, one of the most prominent political party in this country. And then you have Bola Tinibu, who contested under APC, the ruling party, with all the federal might, with all the world chest. They could not defeat Mr. Peter Robi without outright rigging, without colluding with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, without buying the judiciary over. These are the power brokers that Mr. P2B contested the election against. Mr. P2B contested that election with no incumbent governor, no national assembly member, no state house assembly member, no senators, no local government chairman, no councillor. He contested that election with Nigerian people by his side. Mr. P2B campaign was fully funded by the Nigerian people. And the election has been concluded, done and dusted. We have a new government in place. 
Bola Metinibu is the president, but Nigerians do not even regard him as their president. They don't see him as their president. To many Nigerians, they don't have any president. Nigerians see Mr. Pitobi as their president. Anywhere he go, there is always excitement. As it stands now, Peter Obi is the only hope of the common Nigerian. He is the only one that most Nigerians are looking up to. He is the reason why Nigerians are not giving up anytime soon. He is the reason why Nigerians are having hope of a better Nigeria. That is the reason why he went to own those states and the people came out en masse to welcome him. You can see the excitement on the faces of the people. Politicians in this country don't receive this level of recognition unless they are holding executive power. Peter Obi is the only one that received this kind of recognition with that executive power. What Mr. Peter Obi is enjoying is what politicians paid billions and millions of naira to get. Peter Obi is in on those states to show solidarity support to the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate Chief Solar Ebisieni. If you look closely, you will not see Julius Aburi there. Julius Abure has been fighting to get the leadership position of the Labour Party. He has it, the court has given it to him, but let him show work in his nowhere to be found. The Edo State gubernatorial election came and gone. Julius Abure did not for once campaign or show support to the gubernatorial candidate Olumide Abata. It was Mr. Pitobi and Alex Oti that went to campaign for him. Now we have an election in Edo State, he is nowhere to be found. All he cares about is the position, is the seat, because all they care about is money. We all know that Labour Party will not win the election in Ondo State. We know that APC with the help of the federal government will rig the election. We know that INEC will help APC to rig that election. But then, Peter B is not detailed with all of this. He's not detailed with the election malpractice in the country. He's not detailed with the leadership crisis in the Labour Party. Mr. Peter B is focused. His focus is to make Labour Party the biggest political party in this country and he's currently being faced with a lot of challenges. Sometimes I feel pity for him. I feel like he should just abandon everything concerning the presidency. Nigerians are not even willing and ready to be redeemed. They don't even know that they have a problem. They are not aware that they are captured slaves. They are not aware that they've been torn as slaves in their own land. Everything that the Nigerian government is doing to the Nigerian people is what the slave master does to the slave. You are suffering in your own land, a land with abundance of resources, but yet you cannot even have access to your own resources. You have oil, but you are buying fuel at an exorbitant price. You have vast arable of land, but you cannot feed yourself. To buy food, you need to pay through your nose. With crude oil available, you are buying gas at an exorbitant price. On top of that, the federal government is still taxing you to death. Everybody wants to jump out of this country. Just give an average Nigerian an opportunity and the person will flee out of this country without thinking twice. The federal government has been clamping down on the activities of IPOB for trying to succeed out of this country. But mentally, every Nigerian has succeeded out of this country. No one wants to stay in this country again because the country has become hostile to their development and personal well-being. This is the bronze that Mr. Peter B bears. This is the pain he feels in his heart whenever he sees the Nigerian youth roaming the street with nothing to do. This is why he wants to help them. This is why he's going to Ondo State to speak to the people, to vote in for a competent governor. But what what is going to happen? They are going to sell their vote. They will vote in APC. The same way they sold their vote during the presidential election, they sold their vote for tribalism, they sold their vote for religion, they voted in Bola Metinibu today. Every one of them is gnashing their teeth. They are all suffering untold hardship and the bad economic policies of this government. Peter Robi wants to help them, but unfortunately, most Nigerians love their chains. They are aware that they are suffering. They are aware that they've been captured, but they love their chains so much. That's the reason why many of them they are still defending this government, despite all the government have done against them. Imagine defending a government that charged kids for treason, for protesting against the government. I just wish Mr. Pitobi will give it up. Take a very good rest. Nigerians are not ready. When Nigerians are ready, they know what to do. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.